Have you thought about purchasing your first electric vehicle this year? Hey there drivers and future EV owners, Brian here, your honest mechanic. Today we're cutting through the hype and giving you the straight facts on what you need to know before plugging into the electric revolution. No fluff, just the seven critical things EV owners wish someone had told them before they bought their first electric vehicle. Let's dive right in. Number 1. Understand the true range. The range listed on the window sticker? Take it with a grain of salt. Your actual driving range will vary, sometimes dramatically. Cold weather can reduce range by 20 to 40 percent, and highway driving at 70 plus miles per hour will drain your battery faster than city driving. Unlike gas cars, EVs are often more efficient in stop-and-go traffic thanks to regenerative braking. Think about your daily commute and typical driving habits. If you regularly drive 30 miles a day, even an EV with 150 miles of range will work fine. But if you're frequently taking 200-mile road trips, you'll want something with at least 250-300 miles of range to account for real-world conditions and to avoid charging anxiety. Thing. Number 2. Home charging is a game changer. This might be the biggest difference between EV and gas car ownership. With an EV, your home becomes your primary gas station. If you can charge at home, you'll wake up every morning with a full tank, but this requires planning. A standard 120 volt outlet, level 1, will only add about 3 or 5 miles of range per hour. If you're driving more than 30 40 miles daily, you'll want a level 2 charger installed, which typically costs between $500 to $1,500 plus installation. Factor this into your budget and check if your electrical panel can handle it. Some utility companies offer rebates for installation, so do your homework before buying. Thing number three, public charging isn't created equal. Not all charging stations work with all EVs. Tesla has their supercharger network, but it's only recently opening up to other brands. Most other EVs use different connectors. Certain phone apps can show you compatible stations, but always have a backup plan. Fast charging stations, level three, can add 100 plus miles in 30 minutes, but they're more expensive, sometimes costing nearly as much as gas. And unlike gas stations, charging stations can be occupied for 30 plus minutes per vehicle, so you might face wait times during peak hours or on major travel corridors. Number four, battery degradation is real. Just like your smartphone, EV batteries lose capacity over time. Most manufacturers warranty the battery for eight to 10 years or 100,000 miles, guaranteeing it won't drop below 70% capacity within that period. However, how you charge matters. Regularly fast charging to 100% and letting the battery drop to near zero can accelerate degradation. For daily driving, charging to 80-90% and not letting it fall below 20% will extend battery life. Only charge to 100% when you actually need the full range for a trip. Thing number five. Maintenance costs are lower, but repairs can be pricier. One of the biggest perks of EV ownership is reduced maintenance. No oil changes, fewer brake pad replacements thanks to regenerative braking, and fewer moving parts mean less regular maintenance. However, when something does go wrong, repairs can be more expensive. There are fewer qualified technicians, and replacement parts can cost more. Insurance premiums are often higher for EVs too partly because of the expensive battery and specialized repair costs. Get insurance quotes before buying. Thing number six, incentives can make or break the deal. Federal tax credits of up to $7,500 are available for many EVs, but not all. The rules changed in 2023, and now factors like where the vehicle and battery are manufactured, your income level, and whether you're buying new or used, all affect eligibility. Beyond federal incentives, many states, local utilities, and even employers offer additional rebates or perks like HOV lane access. These can save you thousands, but they require research and sometimes paperwork. Don't assume the dealership will walk you through all available incentives. Thing number seven, resale value and technology, evolution. EVs are evolving rapidly. A 2023 model might have significantly better range, charging speed, and features than a 2020 model. This rapid evolution affects resale value. Older EVs can depreciate faster than comparable gas vehicles. Consider leasing your first EV rather than buying, especially if you're tech-focused and want the latest features every few years. 
Alternatively, look at slightly used EVs coming off lease. They often offer tremendous value, with the steepest depreciation already behind them. In conclusion, buying your first EV is exciting, but it's different from buying a gas car in ways that aren't always obvious. Take your time, do your research, and consider a test drive that includes charging at a public station to get the full experience. Remember, the perfect EV isn't necessarily the one with the longest range or flashiest tech. It's the one that fits your daily driving needs, charging situation, and budget. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe for more Straight Talk Automotive Guides, and drop a comment with your EV questions or experiences. Until next time, drive electric and prosper.